We're flipping for a big fucking pot. Can we hold? Big hold? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. We got two pair over here. Let's go. All right, we're raising up the kings. We're raising up the ace queen. We're playing the threes. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's a Saturday evening stream. We're horny. We're ready to go. I don't know if we're horny. Maybe that's just me. You know what I like? You know what I thoroughly enjoy? I thoroughly enjoy raising preflop, flopping three of a kind of the toppest of natures, and then your opponent leading into you. And then he leads again? Hell yeah. And I'm gonna value bet the river over here with the fucking bounty builder 33. Oh my god, he folds. Oh my god. We call here. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? We're gonna value bet. Uh, I don't wanna make it too big, but. He folds. I think I'll see you bet this. Uh, 2k into 4.7. We could have the best hand if he has a draw. We have a backdoor flush draw. An ace or a three isn't out. There's a bounty on the line. I think we got a call. We need an ace or a tray. An ace or a triple. No, we're never lucky. Just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it when they shove in front of me and I have triples. Whoa, action fucking Jackson over here. What is that garbage? Heart. What is that trash? Who gets the button? He does. Cool. Look at this joke. Look at this fucking absolute joke of a turn card. Like, how is this even real, okay? Look at this hand. Look at this hand. We got a, we got a little Jacker Niner bud here. In the, in the big Justin. He raises the cutoff. We call. Okay? Comes 994. We're like, hell fucking yeah. Life is good. Life is great. It's going well. And then uh, he, I shove, and he calls with jack fucking 10. This is why shoving is so wonderful here in a bounty tournament, because people <coughs> just assume that you have a draw or a four, that you don't have a nine actually ever, and they just make some crazy calls with crazy hands, and he has jack 10. I mean, he doesn't get there, but like, how is that a fair turn card, you know? Like, in what world is that even like, okay? We just shove from here, because the bonita. The Bonita, the Bounty existence should be fucking flicking his bean in there. Come on, man. What's that? Give us an ace. Like, that's some bullshit. Diamond! What a... What an actually insane joke that the guy in the big blind just wakes up with fucking... Triggered. Triggered! I'm triggered! Man, eights versus fives again? Is this our hand? Dude, we're hunting a big bounty in the 33 with aces. Look at this. Look at me go. We won that pot. He's got kings. He's uh, You can't see him, but he's got kings. He's got kings. He's got kings. Kings no good. Kings no good. We got a big stack. We got a big bounty. Let's go. Let's go get the bounties out. I need to settle down or else I'm not going to have energy to stream for multiple hours, you know? I'm fucking... I'm way too hyper. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm not generally this hyper. We're all in. I mean, honestly, we could have thought of better runouts. A bunch of straights get there. I mean, the five is... I mean, he would have checked shove with two pair on the turn. So he's either got like a straight or I guess a set. He could have a boat. Yeah, he could have a straight. That's what I mean. Like, he could have... I mean, we got to shove for value, like, no doubt about it, but... It is unfortunate if he does have a better hand, but we built a stack in the uh, 33 bounty, so that's good. We don't love this spot, to be honest, but like we, we do take it because we must. We Again, I say we must. I just think it's a spot where you do have to do it, and you have to hit a king at some point because if you don't, you lose with a flip. And we hate losing flips. Uh, but we do double up here in the win the button, and we win the button, so that's pretty nice. Well, we have no chance of taking this through preflop. We have zero fold equity. But we do have a reasonable holding for 10 blinds, so we'll take it. Yeah, we got them dominated. Dominated. Got to fade the queen. Bada boom, bada bing. Back up to 25 bigs, 20k. 
Uh, we got a little King Jacker here uh, to the min race. He shoves. We call. Nah, don't do it like that, please. Please don't do it like that. Thank you. God damn. Thank you. God damn. Thank you. So the thing is, right, he's going to 3-bet so much here that we're just going to have to 4-bet shove on him. Even though we did just talk about how we're 5 off the money, it doesn't really matter because, one, it's really bad for uh, him to lose this pot and me to go on the button again. So we got to assume he's going to be 3-betting a little bit more because of that. Two, we're five off the money, so he's going to be three betting a little bit more because of that, and he's aggressive. And we have 40 big blinds, so it's a pretty easy four bet shove for us here. I uh, don't really need to think about much, honestly. It's just, like, super easy when you consider, like, all of the variables and everything that's going on. So, so easy, actually. Like, we actually love this spot. It's fucking wonderful to raise your 40 big blinds with sevens. We're just so happy about it. We're so happy that we just get the button again, you know? Because we're just always winning the hand. Not always, but a lot of the time. Big pop poker with the tens in the challenge. He's got sixes. Come on now, let's hold it. Oh, God. It feels so hard to just fade two outs. You know, it should be easy to fade two outs. It just feels really hard. But we've done it again. We've literally done it again. Um. Hmm. Damn, dude. Fuck. Oh my god, I kinda wanna call. Honestly, I think I might call. We gotta we gotta we gotta do some we gotta do some two second research here. Okay, so we lost that pot and then he lost this pot and now he's triggered. So he's either triggered and he's putting it about, right? He does seem like a recreational player. Well we know he's a recreational player. We know he's a silly bill. We just don't know whether or not he do does this kind of shit with random hands or if he's just got ace king. I think that generally we can just assume that people are crazy enough that with the bounty equity, ace ten suited will have enough equity that we can call here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. But I mean, sometimes they just always have like ace king, ace queen. I mean, if you shove an ace jack though, seven. If he's shoving ace jack though, then I would not put a pass in to be shoving a hand like ace eight or ace nine or something. So I feel like that's just kind of unlucky that he had that. I mean, it's it's also like most of the time, if people when they shove that many blinds, they are gonna have like ace king, ace queen, ace jack. But this guy is very clearly a retre recreational player, and uh, uh, he seems like the type that could easily be, you know, punting it off there. Uh, we'll just check raise, get it in here versus him, right? Maybe we just shove, and then he hunts our bounty. Yeah, let's just shove. Yeah, boom. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Hold! Yeah, let's go. We get our chips back. The next hand. See what I mean? Like, he's he's a crazy person. Fuck, we bust out the tornado. I think we can rebuy, though, right? God, this is actually... Okay, so this is a cool spot in this tournament. Because, one, we have the fucking nuts, right? We have aces. But, like... I mean, it seems like we want a 3-bet here because when he wins the pot, right, when Greg wins the pot, we're in the big blind. So it seems like I should want to win the pot more than I even normally would here. So it seems like we might be 3-betting, uh, like, bullshit here, you know? But joke's on him. We just have aces. Hopefully he reads into that or tries to read into that. We're, we're trying to steal here and he, uh, and he tries to punish. Oh. <laughs> Oh, baby. I think this guy could be bluffing, so I'm going to call and uh, try to let him punt it off post-flop. Hopefully, we don't get a really bad board. It's a pretty good board. wonder if we ever blast it off the last bit. Like, when we when we just check call the flop, you know? Like, is he ever bluffing 57k into 153? Or is he just giving up? I have no idea. I'm just going to give him the rope just in case. You know, I don't really think it's super likely he takes this kind of line with, like, ace-king, ace-queen, and then gives up. Like, it just doesn't seem... Like something someone would do. Ah, he's got a bluff, dude. We got a shove now, though. I don't know what people say. He doesn't have a bluff for sure. It just feels like it. I mean, maybe not, though. Maybe he just has kings or queens. Or maybe he just has queens. He just flopped us. Out flopped us here, and we're just going to bust the tournament. Oh, same hand. Okay. Sick trap, bros. Sick fucking trap by me. I played that hand. It's just like, just like, what a trap. You know, what a... What a trap. Raising the eights there, raising the ace queen suited in the challenge. We just lost a little pot in the challenge to an unfortunate river card. All right, easy call for us here to, is it 25 blinds even? It's not even 25 blinds, it's like 
23 or something like that down here. I mean, of course, with the eights. Easy get in. We're flipping for a big fucking pot. Can we hold? Big hold? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. We got two pair over here. Let's go. 222k. Hell yeah, dude. Take that bot down with the ace queen on the turn. We wouldn't mind more action there. We raise the button with the ace deuce. We continuation bet the flop. We are gonna be shuffling here with the ace six. Many good things are happening. I like where the stream is going at the moment. I hope it continues to go in this direction. I am kind of worried now, but I'm still going in. I mean, he could have a worse two pair. He could have a set, which would be bad. He could have a flush draw, which would be good. He has a flush draw, which is good. Can we fade it? Hell yeah, we can. Hell to the yeah. It's one of those situations, you know, where it's like, why would you lose a pot when you could just win a pot instead? It's just so much better. We raise the jacks out of the gun here, and we got a uh, really beautiful flop, you know? Really, really, it's a great flop. I'm going to value about these jacks. Uh, and then we have flopped an open under and a flush draw, which is pretty nice over here. He folds down here with the Jays. So we, uh... Do we raise? I think we just raise and get this in, you know? We have seven high. If we can raise and take it down right now, that's obviously a great result as well. And if we get it in, we have an open ender and a flush draw. It's only, it's really tough to, to get it in bad here. And we can just pile the turn if he calls as well. Bad call? Did I make a bad call? Oh, the king 10. Oh yeah, you guys are morons, that's right. He don't let him win with that trash. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we didn't, we didn't even get the chance to give him the question marks. I didn't even get to see what they were saying. I don't know if they were talking to me or what about or what was going on there. We have uh, 322k. We're one of 27 in the 55 uh, win of the button. We'll be looking to win some more buttons as the tournament progresses. Eight of diamonds here. Good for the win. Good for the W on the river here. <sighs> Big Pop Oak are going to be going down in the Saturday challenge here. I found it hard. Wow, that's a good fucking flop. Oh my god. I just, I just don't understand why there needs to be a sweat every time, you know? Why does God hate me so? Alright, well, this queen on the turn is good and bad. It makes it good. We've gone over this many times, you know? Every time this comes up, I say the same thing. The queen on the turn here is good because it makes it less likely that he has a queen. And it also slows him down from bluffing us off of middle pair here. But the queen is bad because it stops us from ever being able to make a better hand than trip queens. You know, like, we can just be dead on the turn to a queen. Whereas if he had king-queen on the turn and it came a deuce, uh, then we could still make the best hand with an ace or a jack. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty bad river card as well. A lot of his barrel cards, like Ace King and you know any any heart combos. It's just a really bad turn card for us. Uh, and by turn, I mean to say river. But hey, two barrels with the five four. That is fan fucking tastic. We're all in the challenge. Please don't be busting us here. How many people playing? Forty five page, seventy nine left. We're flipping. Come on, hold the flip. Hold the flip. Nice. Nice. All right, so we're getting 4,400 into 8,400 with Queen 10 suited. It's a pretty nice suited hand. It's 6K of 10K starting stack. The bounty is big. We are going to be on the fucking booty hunt here, boys and girls. Can we get a preempted span of Bonitas in the chat? Because we're definitely getting there versus Aces. Aces ain't no hand. Aces ain't no hand. We definitely get fuck. We're all in. Ace King versus Ace Queen. Please hold the baby. No. 10! You know, this is when I say things like, man, when the fuck will it end? It's just like, honest to goodness, when in the good name of the baby Jesus will it end, you know? Call him with the ace jack, he's got ace seven. Can we hold? Can we hold? Yes, we can. We like that, dude. We like that a lot, actually. I'm gonna bet the turn. Has he got some sort of straight draw or like also worse ace high that he called with? Oh, he's just got like a nine or a deuce. Oh my god. He's got triple queens. Hey fucking Zeus. I mean, of course he can have a hand like that, you know? I probably should have continuation bet this eights, to be honest. We have the best hand a lot of the time, especially when that guy checks back. We definitely have a better hand than him. 
Unless he's checking back like crazy strong. And only this guy can have a better hand, but we're gonna have to call once. We should just bet the flop though, so we get to check the turn and see a river for free. And it also weeds out trash hands on the flop, which is a really bad no bet on the flop, I think. We don't need to bet big, I bet like 2,500 even, and just buy a river like that. I mean, now if he slams out like 9k or something though. Oof. Oh boy, okay, okay. We're mostly gonna fold how many cash? 45 cash, 13 off the money. We're not that close, we're not close, we're not close. It's not relevant. Um, but here's the thing. He represents 4-3, he represents any two pair combo imaginable, but he doesn't represent a queen, you know? Basically by shoving the king river, he's saying that I have like, ugh, I kinda wanna just call. And like see him turn over like seven eight seven nine any bluff i guess he could be shoving a king x for value i think we lose to like queen six queen five five six and maybe like a set of fives or sixes but like that's not very likely i mean you could have king queen as well maybe there's a lot more combos of hands that beat us yeah yeah he's got a straight draw let's go let's go Hello! Hello! Oh! Look at this! We got money! We got money! We're in the money in the Turbo Swordfish on the other screen. I like that. I like that a lot. Wow, even lose this fucking shady little pot here. Never open jam 25 BB. Definitely ignore what that moron says and definitely open jam 25 BB sometimes, guys. It makes a ton of sense in certain situations to open shove 25 big blinds. I mean, not always. Definitely don't want to do it always. And you definitely don't want to do it a lot of the time either. But some of the time, it makes a ton of sense. It's a good spot for us. Still a good spot, even after all of the cards came out. Yeah, this guy's a huge punter. We're gonna ice the ace jack suited here. He's got kings. Ten? 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 Any tens? Ten? No. Queens in the hot two fifteen. <sighs> Fuck me. Maybe we just fold the ace jack, even though that guy's a punter. All right, so we did three bet and he called. That's pretty good. We're just gonna bet the turn, shove the uh, bet the flop and shove the turn. He folds. We bust. Oh, we shove eleven big blinds under the gun with the fours here and the hurricane, and we bust. Both of our tables on eight 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 poker are in the cash. Can't be mad now. Man, three of our four tables on the screen are in the fucking money. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> we get it through. We shove the 16 beeps with the king four off. This is a pretty close shove. Um, potentially a bad shove. Fuck me. If he's going with king eight, it's not great. We're going to chop or win. Oh, my God. Diamond. Not great. We're gonna shove, but this guy doesn't really raise. Uh, he's playing 27 and 2, so he's a recreational player. We're gonna shove the 22 blinds over him. Shoot, 16 blinds, king 4 off. Honestly, it's probably profitable. It's probably slightly plus chip EV. I think maybe our edge is probably slightly better than that, but looks like we're out of the deep stack. We get that one through. Uh, and I say deep stack, what I mean is win the button. Yeah, we're gonna lose this hand. Uh, we can't go this. Oh, we're gonna be all in in the Saturday challenge with a couple of nines here. 
Wish us luck, team. Of course we're flipping. Can we get a fucking nine or a seven, please? A nine or a seven? Oh, boy. Shove, dude. Don't walk me with jacks. Thank you. It just never ends, boys. It just... <laughs> oh, it just literally never ends. It's unbelievable. Yo, stump 12, my mark. Mm. Welcome to Team Never Lucky, dude. <laughs> Should we take this down a lot of the time, honestly? Oh, just kidding. He's got Ace King. Why wouldn't you have Ace King when I have Ace 10, you know? <laughs> Why wouldn't you have Ace King when I have Ace 10? Oh, that's so funny. So funny. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I don't really care. I mean, I would have preferred to double up. Oh, sorry, Daddy. It's okay, Papa. It's okay, Papa Bear. He's been so aggressive. <laughs> He's been so aggressive, and then he just raises. <laughs> well, one raise, two raises, three raises, four. Five. Six. Oh no, that's a walk. Five. No, that's not a walk. Six. Whatever, dude. When will this fucking end, Lewis Pickering asks? Maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, you know? Tomorrow is a nice, full, new day of Sunday poker. Fucking Dynamax! Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll see you guys tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Have a great rest of your Saturday. Uh, and I think we will do this uh, more often from now on. I think we'll do like a, okay, so I'll either do Friday or Saturday, this is what we'll do. We're gonna do either Friday or Saturday, and we're gonna do like a, like a cheeky little like shortish drinking stream where we just play a few tournaments, only a few that can go super late. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the, then we'll do like, a, we'll follow it up with a gaming stream, or we'll like actually finally do a gaming stream. I'll like get a squad, or I'll get someone to like play with like every time, and we'll do it. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm out. Have a wonderful extra Saturday. A peace out, hombres. I'll see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern time, 3.30 p.m. Eastern time for the home game.